here's what I got going on. We got the OptiShot 2 Golf Simulator. Uh, if you've been looking at golf simulators, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a pretty uh, efficient golf simulator for, I guess not efficient, uh, affordable golf simulator. Pairing it with a cheap DB power projector. I did some review before choosing this one on Amazon. It's got high lumen output because what I'm going to do is put it in the garage. That's going to be the way we hit. And I'm going to mount the projector up here. So, so far, we've got uh, these little thumb screws I got at the local hardware store. Um, I popped the feet off this projector. They were rubber feet. Uh, just pop them off. You put the projector mounter. And I'm trying to do this as cost efficient as I can, cost effective as I can. So these little things, uh, if I get it to focus here, we got at just the local hardware store. They looked like they would fit. I popped the feet off before we went. And I kind of guessed on the thread, and it was the only ones they had. So I figured if they didn't work, I could take them back and just get screws but they worked really well. Got some angle iron, um, cut these to nine inches, nine and a half inches or so. I uh, got two six foot, two more six foot pieces. And this is gonna be our bracket setup for the projector off the garage mount. I got an extra HDMI 25 foot because the OptiShot came with maybe a six footer and then a six foot power cord for this which is good and fine because I'll be plugging it into that outlet there. So six foot's plenty for that. The HDMI will go from the projector down to the laptop or computer. And power everything back to that. There's a USB from this to the laptop. So the biggest thing was the HDMI from here to the computer just needed to be a little longer. All right, we'll get to assembling. We've already assembled some stuff and then my boy decided he wanted to do a YouTube video on top of that. I am going to attempt to pop this bolt out, slide that other piece of angle iron up, replace this bolt, and then use another bolt here or maybe down here. With this probably be a little more secure. And then it'll protrude out the back and give it a little more stability and then i'll be putting angle iron from up here at an angle just to give it some stability okay that worked out well right now this nut is just loose or that nut and bolt is loose this one i got tightened back down it looks like it's going to work i'm going to now do the other side and then put this piece on all right those are mounted i snugged them all up i'm going to work with it and we'll work from there. I would advise don't take both bar both bolts out of your opener at the same time. Be careful and uh, just work one at a time and make sure you got free hands to hold everything in place. All right, moving on. We're gonna mount the projector either the front or the back side. I haven't decided yet. First, you got the projector mounted. I'm starting to run the HDMI, zip tied up, make it look pretty. Since I have this air hose running down to my compressor, I'm gonna pop those screws out and run the HDMI cable with it. It'll make it look nice and clean. And then that'll clean up all these extra wires too. All right, I got the cable all run. Comes down just long enough for computer I'm thinking I don't know I might put the computer maybe build a little shelf to put it on the French cleat or just for sh right now utilize this old desk just so I can get swinging it's on it's tight pictures on I'm gonna hang up my quote hitting screen and basically what I did was just got a drop cloth Cheap drop cloth, Harbor Freight, I think it's 15 bucks plus tax. And then it's nine by 12. The garage door is 
I think nine by, I don't know, I'd be lying, nine by something. So I figured this would work. Um, if it's nine wide, it'll be perfect. I'll put the width of it, the drop cloth as the width of the garage door and have the extra just kind of drape down and then be a good run back for balls. I have floor drains, so I got a natural slope, so maybe that'll aid it. And then I have a hitting mat that I am going to steal the idea from another guy I saw on YouTube. And I will do that in a different video. Um, but for now, I will put this as labeling the, or I'll label this as mounting my golf simulator projector and running the wires at least for now. Here's my fix, or my idea. So I'm gonna hook bungee cords into these holes. It'll be, still kind of want to use the garage door. There's some on each side. So it'll be one hook in each hole, and then the cloth will hang from the looped end. And since I'm a real man, and I have a sewing machine, what I'm gonna do is just cut some holes in the corners of this and sew it up really good so there's no tear out over time. All right, so all I did was just cut a slit and then folded it back on itself and now I'm just going over it really well back and forth. All right, that'll be enough to put the bungee strap or bungee cord through and then put this big lug part through. Does it look pretty? Uh, you be the judge. I said I sewed. I didn't say I sewed good or sewed well. So now I'll show you what I'm doing on this. This is all I'm doing. Is just making a little slit here and another slit here folding it over on itself and then just sewing around it. This one actually might be a little more pretty. That one turned out a little bit better. So I'll put the bungee hook through here and then loop one hook on each hole on that garage rail. Got a hook there. I will run that hook through here. And then I'm trying to do this one-handed. And it's not really gonna work out very well. Okay, cameraman. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Record what my hands are doing, okay? See him? Yep. There we go. That'll hang there. Got it. Thank you, sir. And we'll do the same thing over on that rail. Done. Obviously it's gonna sag. I think I got a fix for that. I'm gonna go from this hole, maybe over to one of these rails just to tighten it up. See what that looks like. All right, looping it back on one of these wasn't working out. So I just kind of locked it into this little knot. And that seems to be holding really, really well. The other side, my boy said, just tie it like a shoe. So what we did was we just wrapped it up around, did a couple knots, and tightened it up really well. I got nothing else. It's just kind of flopping, laying down, so I'll stretch it up. All right, for right now, we just got it rigged up right here. And I gotta get logged in. 